What's up guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red, Red Run. In the last episode we, I guess, saved Pokemon Tower even though there was nothing really wrong with it. There was a haunting Pokemon and a not really kidnapped Mr. Fuji. Anyway, and we obtained the Poke Flute. And the last time we caught, or we got two new Pokemon, one wasn't really new, it was just an evolved form. But in this episode we are going to be obtaining two brand spanking new Pokemon for our team. And... Man, I I did a um. Whoops, forgot not to run. I love fishing. Don't get me wrong, but it'd be best if I also had some. If I also had more work. All right, then get to work. It's not easy. It is for us because we destroyed you. Anyway, uh, I did a practice run to make sure that all my information or all the root information was correct and that I was going to go go into this knowing what I was doing. And I caught this this lug right here with one Pokeball without even without even damaging it. So we'll play the Poke Flute. Wake it up. Not really a catchy tune. And it woke up and attacks us in a grumpy rage. I highly doubt I won't be that lucky. And also, this is a good example of the ability thing that I mentioned in a previous episode where the Pokemon he has with the abilities have kind of not the best abilities. This one's a little easier to understand, but I don't know. Uh, uh, you'll see when I, when I uh, catch it. Wow! first try hell yeah uh, anyway red does own a Snorlax on his team and its nickname is the first part of its name snore let's see if it has the right ability and the r or let's see if it has the right ability first off we have a second shot at this if it doesn't but I would very much prefer it to have the right ability and it does! Oh, okay. See, the other ability it can have is Thick Fat, which boosts defense against um, Ice and Fire, which is a much better ability to have. Immunity is alright, but Thick Fat's much better. That's that's a, uh, not as good example as the one for the Pokemon coming up, which is going to be fun to obtain. Wow, that was fun. Uh, nature. Adamant nature. No, Snore in the manga actually has an impish nature. And he's holding his chesto berry, so... Yeah, we have four Pokemon on our team. Let's continue just a little further south here. And let's go visit this guy. I'm the fishing guru's younger brother. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Hell yeah, we do. Grand, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. Oh wow, it's the super rod. I thought it was the good rod. I wasn't paying attention in my my uh, practice run. Fishing is a real way of life. It's like the finest poetry. From the seas to rivers. Go out and land the big one, my friend. Now, I have a request. I also didn't read this last time. If you catch a big magic carp with that rod, I want to see it. As much as I love to fish, I also love seeing gigantic magic carp. Right, Magikarp's terrible, and we're not going to be seeing you ever again. Well, this makes things kind of a bit easier now that it's a super rod. I, d I didn't even notice that. I was wondering why I kept getting ridiculous Pokemon while fishing. Anyway, uh, the spot you want to go, or the spot we're going to go to fish is all the way up in Cerulean, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to cut ahead to when we're in the right spot. So I will see you guys then. Alright, we're up here. We, I went to go see if Misty wanted to come up here, but she wasn't feeling well, so we're going to be up here fishing by ourselves, and, um, yeah. So, I don't know why I cut ahead to just cut again, because it's very unlikely that for the first, um, encounter is going to be the right one. I'm actually going to register this so it's easier for me to do off screen. Let's find out if we're lucky. Hey, let's see if we're if we're lucky. Wow, damn, it's female. Anyway, 
this will tell you what the Pokemon we need is, but this one's female, so I'm gonna cut ahead to when we actually get it. And I guess I'll see you guys then. Sorry to cut away twice very quickly. Okay! Wow, it's level 24 too. That's pretty good. This is the next Pokemon that Red has on his team. And I realize I didn't explain how he got his Snorlax. So I'll do that after we catch this Poliwag, and I'll explain how his Poliwag gets caught too, because they're very short stories. Don't put me to sleep. Eh, whatever. We'll just keep lobbing, lobbing Pokeballs at him. Uh, actually, I'll use this time to explain how he caught his Snorlax. He caught his Snorlax in the same way that we caught ours. There was a Pokemon in the- there was- Snorlax was in the way during a bike race, so Red decided to catch him. Wow, one shot. Things are going swimmingly for me. <laughs> Excuse my pun. Uh, anyway. Poliwag. Oh, I did see a Poliwhirl. That's probably why that showed up. It was female. Couldn't catch it either. Uh, yes, and I'm glad we caught a Poliwag since it, you know, helps us on our way to getting that one item. And Red's Poliwag's name is... If you couldn't already tell... Polly. And you know what? I just now thought of something. This has two abilities as well, and it probably doesn't have the right ability. Let's find out. Please have the right ability. Yes! Oh my god, my luck is just fantastic! This is the Pokemon that has the worst ability that you can have with ones that have two. The other ability it can have is Water Absorb, which, if it's attacked by a water attack, it'll absorb it into HP. Damp does nothing. No Pokemon really is going to use self destruct, even though, or explosion, even though that happened in the last episode, but, um, yeah, water absorbs much better. So, Snorlax was caught pretty much the exact same way we caught ours, it was in the way, so we woke it up and caught it. Polly, on the other hand, is a really interesting one. Polly was Red's very first Pokemon. Yeah, it, it was caught when it was an infant, when he was an infant, and it actually saved Red from drowning, and then from that point on, Poliwag and him became great friends, and he eventually ended up owning Poliwag. It's no longer Poliwag, it's evolved, but yeah, it. Polly is actually his number one Pokemon, even though Pikachu has more screen time than him. Look at that, we almost have a full roster of Pokemon. One more, and we'll have it. A full roster. This is going to be a very short episode, and I apologize, guys, but I don't think I really want to do anything else for this episode. Um, there's... I'm not sure if I mentioned this or in the... or if I was... Um, what, what was I saying? I'm kind of out of it. It's very early in the morning again. Like, practically sun up. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but um, yes. I'm not sure if I've already mentioned this, but there's two gyms that we could technically go to now. But we're not going to be going to either gym right yet. Uh, there's still some rocket guys hanging out here. You know what? We could go in there and take that gym down and level up our Pokemon a little bit. Um. Oh. Um. Real quick, I don't know what nature Polly has. Um. Summary. Docile. Um, that may or may not be it. I will actually put an annotation up because I don't want to open my notes while recording. So yeah, uh, sorry I'm so out of it and it's such a short episode. But now that we have Polly, Snore, V, Soar, and Pika, I'm going to come to Celadon and... Right down here is the next gym we're going to be taking down, but like I said, there's a few things I want to do before we take on that gym, and I'll be showing that in the next episode, obviously. I I'm really out of it, guys. I'm, I'm so... I, I apologize. Uh, so I'm going to cut it here. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next action-packed episode.